You won't say anything to Eric or tell anyone what happened in San Francisco. Like you said, who's gonna believe me? I know I should be grateful, but you have wanted me out of your father's life for so long. I can't believe you'd be willing to keep the secret. Everybody's got a limit, Steffi. But I should have reached mine a long time ago. No, you have been incredibly patient and understanding. Well, I tried to be. But now I kind of think that was a mistake. Listen, I want all of you. Or nothing at all. And I am so sick of your grandfather and Quinn and Wyatt teaming up against me. Because you chose me. And that means we should be together. Now. Not when your grandfather says it's okay for us to be together. So you're moving out? Yeah. I mean, living here with you and my mom has been amazing. But it really wasn't the way to get Steffi back. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Especially supporting me and my marriage to Steffi and, and everything, but... I, I don't want her to feel like she's being bribed into being with me. No, no, that was certainly never our intention. No, I know that. But I have to look at this from Steffi's point of view. She's under a lot of pressure. From work, from Liam, from everything. And, and then our pitch only made things worse. And I know I had to try, because I love her. And I know that I'm the right guy for her, but if I really am that guy, I shouldn't have to convince her of that. Steffi, our lives have been on hold long enough and I should have taken a stand a long time ago. Tell Wyatt you're done and come home to the me. Divorce is almost final, Liam. Okay, and then what? And, and then the marriage will be over. I'm gonna move see, back in with you. This we'll is have what I'm saying, future. Steffi, if you're working with Quinn's son, right? She's gonna find ways of putting you two together. That's why you have to make it absolutely clear to both of them that there is no chance you're getting back with Wyatt and you have to make it clear that you want the divorce finalized immediately. I have to say, I'm a little surprised by this. <laughs> I mean, I think it's necessary, don't uh, you? I respect your decision, <laughs> but... Uh... Trust me, it wasn't an easy one. I really enjoyed living here. I never thought I'd say that about living with my mother again, but <laughs> it was good. I still can't believe she's the same woman who would have done anything to get Steffi to marry me. Quinn realizes how desperate and reckless she was. She's been like that my entire life, Eric. <laughs> until, until you. Like you, you transformed her and, and you opened up my eyes too. I, I realized integrity is so important in a relationship. And I also realized I want somebody who believes in me as completely as you and my mom believe in each other. Your father will never know what happened between us. Flirting, the steam room, what happened in San Francisco last night. I need to have your word, Ridge. Promise me. What we shared, the kiss, that's between us, no one else. I promise. It's our secret.
I understand what you want. I just don't know where this is coming from. Why ending my marriage is so urgent. Because they're getting to you. Who? Liam, who? My grandfather, Wyatt, Quinn, they're not. They are, and I'm tired of watching it happen. <sighs> It's Wyatt. Hi. Hey, um, I need to see you. Is it work related? No, no, but, uh, but it's important. Look, the, the situation's already awkward enough. Let's not make this worse, okay? And I, I appreciate that, but I'm not taking no for an answer, so. Okay, are you here at the office or are you at Granddad's? Uh, our place. The beach. Like I said, it's important, so please. I'm on my way. So you're going. He says it's important. Yeah? yeah? For who? You're honoring a marriage that never should have happened. You're legitimizing everything Quinn did to us. No, I'm not. I want a future with you. Steffi, even in the middle of all of this, you answered that phone because the caller ID said Wyatt. And now you're about to drop everything you're doing and go see him. I know how much you love your grandfather. I know what the company means to you, but we have waited long enough and our relationship has to come first. End the marriage. Get that godforsaken tattoo off your finger or what's left of it and then come home. I gotta be at the house tonight. I'm gonna make us dinner. Use this time to go tell Wyatt no more, and then I'll see you tonight. You know what? I can tell Wyatt to just come here no, and tell me no. if you're that worried about it. No, 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 you should go. You, you absolutely should go, tell him it's over, set him straight, and then come home to me. I understand you're upset about my grandfather and the house. I'm surprised too, but honestly, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Nothing to worry about. I'm gonna talk to Wyatt and everything's gonna be fine. I promise you. You won't say anything to Eric or tell anyone what happened in San Francisco. It's so nice to have you back. I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> I want to hear all about your symposium, about how you and Rich made out in San Francisco. I want to hear all about it. Okay. But first, I want to tell you that your son has made a pretty important decision. I want you to be upset by this, but he's decided to move out. Why? It's time for him to move on. But where is he going to go? He's gonna go back to the beach house. He feels that he's done his best to try to save his marriage and that he has to accept the fact that it might really be over now. This is all my fault. Steffi shut him out because of me. I, I did my best to make it up to her, but the damage was done. He doesn't blame you. I've made so many mistakes. He knows you're not the same woman you were then. You should be proud of him. And he's a thoughtful, intelligent young man. He's going to be fine. Thank you. Thank you for being there for him. And for me. Being away from you made me realize how much I love you. How thankful I am to be your wife. I missed you. I hate being away from you. Thanks again for doing this on such short notice. I really appreciate it. All right. Hey. Hey. 
place looks nice. Yeah, you told me you were coming by. I had to spruce up a little bit. Thank you for coming to see me. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you said it was important. Yeah. Uh, glass of wine? I opened up a really good bottle. Oh, no, it's, it's a, a little too early for it, that. It no. is never too early. How dare you? For old times' sake. A toast to better days. One glass. No toast. Come on. There's something I really need to say. It's been a long time since both of us have been in this house together. How about this? To all the good times that we shared together here. A toast to all the laughs we had, the love that we shared, all the jokes we made, every dinner you ruined. That was one time? One time? I, I forgot to set the timer once. What? Okay. One time, why? Okay, one, fine. One time. So then, to bad timing. Hey, so I got your text. Didn't sound like good news. So what? What, what happened? What she didn't? She didn't betray my dad. She didn't cross the line. I thought I knew how she was going to react, but I had no idea. Wyatt is as tough and as resilient as you are. He's a better person than I am. He's going to be fine. We will see to it. Thank you so much for being so supportive. That's what I promised, isn't it? That's what I vowed to take care of you on a wedding day, to be strong and protective of you and to give you everything in this world. And you have. I have everything I could have ever dreamed of. Good. Now, I want to hear all about the symposium. Did you and Ridge lay down your swords, and were you able to get along? Uh, we were very well received at the event. Yeah, so I heard. He was very complimentary to you, wasn't he, up on the stage? That was a surprise. Yeah, the whole trip was like that. Like what? Not what I expected. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to be able to spend some time with you and see you as the woman I know you are. Now, come on, tell me all about it. You know what, I'd rather just <clears throat> focus on being home with my husband. What, you don't want to talk about it? Well, I already told you on the phone the symposium was a big success. I don't know what more you want me to say. Ridge and I are never going to be best friends. Why did you take separate flights home? Did something happen? Did he, did Ridge do something to you? No. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Look, all I want is for my wife and my son to have a decent relationship. Nothing I'd like better in the world than to know that you were getting closer. Wyatt, I know this is a difficult time for you. We've had some great memories here. But I'm not sure dredging them all up is a good idea. You asked me here to talk, so I think we should do that. You're right. It has been difficult for both of us. But I know how we can move on from this, Steffi. We have to... We have to stop listening to the clock that is counting down the end of the days of our marriage and, and focus on what we've done together, what we've learned, what we've accomplished together as a couple. Forget about the divorce and just, just think about what we mean to each other. I think we should celebrate. I know it's a little early, but the symposium was a big success and uh, you and Ridge were a big hit. Not really in a martini mood, honey. No, no, not martinis, darling. I have a surprise for you. Tequila? Yes, your new best friend, I'm told. 
You want another? Yes. I'm not really in the mood for tequila either. Clint? What is it, honey? Is something wrong? Wait, was I wrong? To send you and Rich to San Francisco? In the hopes that you would get closer? Is that what happened? Quinn, I want to know. I think we've been too hard on Rich. He's not the enemy. And, and neither am I. It's, it's, it's just, it's so much more complicated than that. And I know you want us to, to, to be closer, but I, I don't really need my relationship with him to change. I don't really want to talk about Ridge anymore. I'm here with you. This is exactly where I want to be. I love you. And I love our life together. Things are so good now, and I want them to stay that way. I don't ever want to lose you. Hold on a second. You you called me. You were in the room with Quinn alone. You said it was about to happen. I know it's... what I said. But nothing did happen. It was a bad plan. It was a bad plan. It, it, it was... It was the only plan, Ridge. We tried everything else. It's it's not gonna it's not gonna work. What does that mean exactly? Like it's never gonna work? Like you you can't get to Quinn? It's just you're just gonna stop trying? What what are you saying? That's what I'm saying, yes. I mean, it, okay, Steffi and Y can get divorced, but she still has to work with Wyatt's okay. mother All every right. day. All right. I know you're frustrated, I know you're losing your patience. But Steffi, she has to work this out for herself, and I believe she loves you, so just give us some time to work through it. I mean, you were sure it would work. You, you're saying nothing happened? Nothing at all? No. Nothing at all. 